last week on Mystery Monday, Stephanie and I explored Plum Island and the mysterious Montauk monster. Well, this got me thinking about another monster that lives just south of Montauk. But before we go any further, you know what to do. Please hit that subscribe button and give us a like. As always, a very, very special thank you to all of our patrons and our producers on this channel. Without you, this channel would not be possible. If you would like to join our Patreon community, there is a link down in the description box below. Welcome to Esoteric Atlanta. My name is Bryce, and today on Mystery Monday, we're going to be talking about part one of the Jersey Devil. The New Jersey pine lands are miles of pine trees and sandy roads. This area is over a million acres of farms, forests, and wetlands, and it covers seven southern New Jersey counties. This includes 56 communities and 700,000 residents, including the famous Jersey Devil. The Jersey Devil is described as a kangaroo-like creature with the face of a horse, a head of a dog, wings, a horn, and a tail. And in 1938, the Jersey Devil was declared New Jersey's one and only demon. Now, this is probably one of the more famous folklores and legends here in the United States. I mean, after all, I'm a girl from the South, and I grew up knowing about this famous Jersey Devil. And if you remember last week, we spoke about the possibility of this creature coming from the very, very famous Plum Island. But this creature is actually technically, according to legend, older than the facilities of Plum Island. In fact, this Jersey Devil is technically about 250 years old. The most common story about the inception of the Jersey Devil comes from Estelleville, New Jersey. In 1735, approximately, a lady named Deborah Leeds was pregnant with her 13th child. Now, the story goes that after giving birth to 12 other children, Deborah Leeds was not super stoked or excited about being a mother once again for the 13th time. And so she walked around cursing the baby in her womb, saying that this baby would end up being the devil. Now, the story goes, on the night that Deborah was due to give birth, when she gave birth to this child, it morphed into a devil and flew away, only to haunt the pine lands indefinitely. Now, some people add a little flavor to the folklore, claiming that Deborah herself was a working witch and did, in fact, mate with Lucifer to create this devil. Now, what's interesting about this story and gives it the most credence is that a man named Japet Leeds, husband to Deborah Leeds, did write a will in 1736, a year after the birth of the Jersey Devil, leaving his estate to his 12 other children. And these Leeds did live in Leeds Point, New Jersey, which is in Atlantic County today. People who experience the Jersey Devil say that this creature comes through terrorizing their crops, terrorizing their farmland, raiding the animals, and bringing absolute havoc and chaos to the people of this area of New Jersey. In fact, at one point, the attacks were so bad that groups were formed to try to help capture the Jersey Devil. And as we have from our records, $100,000 was granted as a reward prize for anybody who could capture the Jersey Devil. Now, personally, I do believe in crypto creatures. I do believe there is a Bigfoot and there is a Chupacabra. However, what I don't know with the Jersey Devil is if this creature was created by the controllers or if this is actually a creature who came through from beyond the veil, just like Bigfoot. Like Bigfoot came through beyond the veil. We know this, that Bigfoot is not actually a creature to our realm, but sometimes slips through from other realms. But on top of this, what I do find interesting is that in 1978, the United States classified the New Jersey pine lands as a biosphere reserve. And it was established by Congress as the country's first natural reserve. 
Now, if you've been on this channel for a while and to our deep dives and investigations, you know, whenever the government steps in and makes something a, a historic landmark or a national park, that there's something very dangerous and very potent about this location. Whether it's the controllers trying to hold the location in order to study it for themselves or utilize some sort of portal that's there present in that location. Now, this brings my conclusion to two different thoughts. One is that the Jersey Devil is a creature that's come through from the other side of the veil, and that is why the government has put restraints around this area to try to capture it and study it. Although another thought I have is that the Leeds family was part of the controllers, and maybe this Jersey Devil was, in fact, the product of some sex magic to bring about demonic entities onto this earth. But of course, we'll explore all these topics in part two with Stephanie when we look into the cards. If you have any explanations or theories behind the Jersey Devil, please make sure to send them to my email at esotericatlanta at gmail.com to help us navigate through these theories of what this creature actually is.